My name is Christian Lambrex, I'm the Executive Director of Renoir. Today, we have been holding the driver's briefing for the 2024 Renault Charge, which is going to be held on the 1st of June in undisclosed locations here in Kenya. But we have already heard today that it will be most likely in Kajado County. Um, this event, the Renault Charge, is actually one of the main fundraising events for Renault Charge, for Renault It brings, of course, funding for Renault to be able to implement its conservation activities uh, here in Kenya in particular towards protecting and restoring Kenya water towers that are vital for uh, sustaining and protecting the water resources of this nation. Uh, the Rwanda Charge uh, uh, this year is, uh, is likely to be quite uh, eventful and successful. Uh, we have uh, quite an extreme weather situation, which may make uh, the event even more interesting, if I can put it this way. Um, we expect to have between 55 and 60 competitors, so a good number. And we are hoping that uh, they will be able to, to raise as much funds as they have raised uh, last year. Hi everyone, I'm Don. I'm the clerk of the course uh, for the Rhino Charge. So I lead the team of volunteers that organize the event. Um, we're very excited about the 2024 Charge. Uh, it's, we have a fantastic venue for the, for the event. Um, and as always, looking forward to a lot of fun and uh, you know, a great fundraising effort. The event takes about a year to put together. So we started organizing the event back in June, July last year. Um, and there's a whole series of things that go into place to make it happen, all the way from organizing things in Nairobi to uh, speaking with the host community and, and making arrangements and building roads and all these kind of things that we have to do. So we're, we're very ready for the event. Um, I have to say this year we've got some extra challenges. Uh, the rain is uh, definitely causing us a few concerns, but um, we're pretty sure that with a, with a couple of days of dry weather we'll be good to go and we'll be looking forward to a fantastic event. Yeah, so we introduced a thing called the Half Charge this year. Um, the purpose of the Half Charge is to encourage new teams to get into the Rhino Charge. Um, the main event can often seem a little bit intimidating. Uh, it's very challenging, it's very complex. And so we started the idea of the half charge to encourage new teams to come and take part and to have a bit of fun as they, as they, as they do so. Um, we're pleased we've got some half charge entrants. Um, not as many as I'd hoped for, but you've got to start somewhere. So we're looking forward to giving them a, a, a good experience. And the way that works is they will do a, a limited number of checkpoints and they will finish their charge a little bit earlier in the day than everyone else. But uh, yeah, the, the half charge is something I really want to get off the ground and, and to encourage new entrants and new competitors to come and take part and join the, the Rhino Charge family. Hi, my name is Richard Woff. I'm with Car16. I'm the team leader and also the runner. Um, our expectations for this year is we're hoping for a top 10 or a top 15 finish. We've built up a lot of experience over the last few years. Uh, so we're hoping that will help us this year, although slightly concerned. I got a message off um, our mechanical team member this morning saying we need a new engine. So hopefully we have time to source a new engine and fit a new engine uh, prior to the charge um, and that won't mess us up. We're trying to nurture some of the, the, the younger guys and girls who are uh, our supporters. There are our children, but also friends of, uh, of the team so it's our intention to um, try and mentor them and encourage them to take part in the Rhino Charge over the longer term. Uh, they're all showing an interest a, in terms of the, the car but also they're really really um, interested and they want to make a difference with regards to climate change and making sure that uh, environmentally things are protected for the long term in Kenya. Hello, my name is Matthew and I'm 10 years old. Okay, so I do the Rhino Charge and I support Car 16. Well, it's that way my dad does Car 16 and that's why I support them. But there's also one other reason which is really main and that's because no matter what happens, even if they don't win, even if they're not inside the top 15, which last year they were, they keep on coming they keep on coming back to the Rhino Charge for the fun of doing it, but also because it's the right thing. They're raising money, they're helping the environment. 
Um, so my name's Greg Cullen. I'm the um, team leader of Team 22. We're a nice young team in the charge, not like the old fogies from Team 5. So we're very fortunate to have Graham McKittrick here representing a team that's done it since, what, 89? Yeah, since the start. Uh, since the start? Yeah. The only okay. team that I know that's done every single charge since the start. Okay, there's a claim to fame. Do you want to tell us about your team? Who's, who's in your car this year? Are you actually picking up the mantle of driving? Or I've, I've actually transformed to long distance runner. So I'll be, I'll be way Can out. you zoom out and have a look at that? I, I don't, I know, I'm not sure that's the case. I'll be, I'll be a long way out the front. Um, uh, my father, Alan's driving. We've got Phil navigating, Rob Anderson as a runner, Pete Searchin as a runner and Kyle Ray. And then myself as a long distance runner. Okay, so you brought youth back into yeah, the team. No, we've, we've gone young, Ray. Okay, all right, fair enough. We could take a leaf out of his book. All right. Um, and in terms of why you do the event, Graham, what does it mean for you? Uh, it's kind of been around in the family since since the start. I was induced so that dad could go to Rhino Charge. So it's a big, big part of our lives. And it's helping to protect Kenya's wild places and important water towers, which at the moment with the current rain and situation, we all know it's pretty important. We're going to be swimming in this year's Rhino Charge. Yeah, no, pack a life raft. We'll be good. <laughs> Part of the safety gear. All right, good stuff. And what about for yourself, Grim? We're, um, we're, we're I, I thought we would call ourselves like a, a young team, but we're, we're not. We've been around since 2011, so I guess we're, we're getting on a bit. But we are, we are um, we've all the same team, really, that started. Um, so, yeah, we've got Pete Tyrrell, Krista Cullen, my sister, um, Tony Binks, Padder. We've got a mad Irishman joining this year, John Rogers. So that's, he's there for entertainment. And, um, yeah, we haven't got a working car. When was yours ready? I think probably in about June the 2nd or something like that last year. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. I think it goes straight into the workshop once we get back after trashing it. <laughs> okay. We haven't done our first testing yet. It's not together in one piece, but that's the uh, opposite ends of but the you're spectrum. But you're going tomorrow, so it's earlier than normal. Very. <laughs> but keep your eye out on the group for a spare engine. Okay, so hi, my name is Matthew and this is Hilary. Uh, we are two members of uh, Car 46, Gecko Tribe Chargers. Uh, initially, we are part of a group called Gecko Expeditions, where we do off-road uh, adventures in East Africa and in Africa. We're about 20 people uh, since around 2019. We've been doing a lot of exploration and always an emphasis on conservation, uh, be, be responsible, discover the country, uh, and. Through this, there's a natural association with the Rhino Charge. So we went to the Rhino Charge for a few years as supporters with uh, Car 16, mostly, uh, Phoenix Rising. And then last year, I was invited to be navigator in Car 16. And uh, after that, I think we just decided, now it's time for Gecko, which has already a very big present Gecko expedition online, to build our own car and get into it. I think if you already have a group uh, of people that are doing activities together, whether it is football or cooking or whatever, but to have, uh, because what is important in the charge is the team spirit. If you have people who don't talk to each other and then come only once a year to the charge, it's not likely to be very successful. But we're going on trips every month. We're always doing uh, outings. We, especially around cars, 4x4, off-roading. So all of this, the, how we discuss, how we interact, how we use radios, uh, is, for us was coming very easy. So the, the team, you can buy a car. You can have people build a car, you can buy a second-hand car and just go. You don't need to have the craziest car. You can start with unmodified, with just very basic a car. Uh, and then what is more important, I think, is the team. So if you have a good, uh, team elements with your colleagues or with your family, then I would encourage to join. It's not that difficult. Hi everyone, my name is John Prisano. I'm part of the Gecko Tribe Chargers, car number 46. As Matthew has described, we started a group as Gecko Expedition where we love to like explore the whole of East Africa. So this coming into the Rider Chargers has been a very interesting uh, journey so far. It's been very hectic as well. And also I would encourage like a lot more women to get involved and break the monotony of like not being in the four by four, you know, it's muddy and everything and dusty. But I think it's like super exciting and a lot of fun as well. And we should just break the stereotype of like people assuming that, oh, girls are only like into like soft life, blah, blah. I mean, this is a lot more fun too as well. 
Uh, we've been building the car for the last almost one year, since uh, September last year. Yeah. That's when we got the car, the motor. And uh, we hope to finish. That's our main objective. Uh, we will pass Rhino Charge participation, so we hope for the best. Our main target is to finish all the checkpoints. Uh, more than having the best score in terms of distance, we want to actually complete. It's already pretty uh, tall order for a, a new team with a new car, new build. There's a lot that can go wrong, but we'll make it, we'll make it work. Pick it positive. This is Team Zambarao, Heels on Wheels, car number 50. And I will introduce the team, starting with our driver. This is Agnes Mwangi. Uh, Winnie Maru is my name, I'm the navigator. We have runners, Mini Kitao, uh, Elizabeth Thuku, Esther Wamboi, uh, and we have one other person who was unable to make it today. As you can see, we are an only ladies team. The first female indigenous Kenyan team that is going to participate in the Rhino Charge 2024. As competitors, this is our first time to experience the Rhino Charge. But we have previously been involved with the Rhino Charge as spectators. We have come for the Rhino Charge uh, event for many years as spectators. We have also had the privilege of supporting other teams and we decided this is our chance. Let's get into this and compete just like the rest. Our car is more than ready. As in, you know what? That Rhino Charge, bring it on tomorrow. We are ready. We are ready. Yes, we are ready. In fact, it could not have come sooner. We are ready. We have had several uh, time uh, to practice and test the car, you know, in different kind of scenarios. Uh, we are even happy that now, because of the rains, we've managed to test it in muddy conditions. Prior to that, we're testing it in rocky areas. But now, of course, the place that we have been testing the car has become muddy. So we've gotten a taste of both uh, conditions. So we are very ready and we're ready to go. We want to call on all ladies out there. The reason we are doing this is so that we can inspire more women to come and participate in this sport. And not just any other women. We are very ordinary women. You know, the Rhino Charge has been known to be something that looks elitist. I want everybody to know that we are very ordinary women. We are not children of any dynasty. We are just your normal, exactly. We are just your normal uh, Kenyan woman. We run businesses. We are hustlers just like everyone else. We want to inspire the Mamamboga, the hustler, that person to know that they can actually come and do this. Because if Tim Zambarao can do this, so can you. Um, so I don't know about your car, but our car is almost ready. Still not quite. Uh, we have three weeks to go. Um, but we're confident to have the car on the road. Obviously, without the car, we can't compete. Um, well, our car is still waiting for a front diff. We've got quite a lot of work to do on it. So it's definitely not ready. But we've got a great team behind us and they'll have the car ready for the charge. We're very confident that we will compete the highest level. We've come second and third previously. We've won the gauntlet and we've won Tiger Lions in just about every charge. So we're up there. We just have to try a little bit harder and have a bit of luck on our side and we'll get there. I think for us it's, um, yeah, I mean, having extra winches is great. Uh, we're quite positive this year. Uh, the difference, I think, in every Rhino Charge is, is that height um, between our class and, and the Super Modified, which just makes it a little bit more difficult to climb over things. So it's a lot more challenging, but we uh, we really do want to, maybe not quite podium, but we want to definitely be in the top 10, I reckon, this year. In terms of why I charge, um, A, it's good fun. It's, it's the camaraderie, the um, the yeah, the camaraderie is great. But more importantly, it's about raising money for a good cause for the conservation of the water towers here in Kenya, which I think from what we've seen over the past two, three, four weeks is more important than ever. We need to um, assist with climate change. We need to preserve the water towers in Kenya for the long-term future of Kenya. I know you've probably heard of climate change. And that's affecting us a lot in terms of last year at this exact time there was a big drought but now at this exact time there's flooding and that's strange and also uncommon and not reliable so that's a big problem 
And if we don't act now, the future of our world, of humanity, of everything here on Earth, or life on Earth, is in danger. And that's why I think us Earth should start learning about the climate. Because if we can start to make a change now, then we can impact the future. Uh, what we find inspiring about the Rhino Charge is the, the conservation element. What Rhino Arc is doing to preserve Kenya, building fences, a lot of activities is really, really amazing. Uh, and it's inspiring and it fits, it meshes very well with the values of Gecko. I think the most important factor is conservancy and fundraising for the Rhino Charge and the Rhino Arc to conserve forests and animals and the rhinos. What has inspired us is one, conservation. Um, as you're well aware, the rhino charge happens in areas that are arid and semi-arid. And a lot of these areas do not have water, for instance, have suffered deforestation. And when it first started, we all remember that uh, the rhino arc was interested in fencing of the Abadez, which was really to stop the human and wildlife con conflict. Of course, after many years, they have finished the Abadez and have moved into other areas and other parts of Kenya. So for us, we figured this is our country. We must be active and participate in preserving the water towers of Kenya. This is a year where we have even more water than before, but livelihoods have been lost. What are we doing as, as Kenyans? You know, are we going to just sit back? No, we decided we are going to also participate. It involves raising money. So first and foremost, we have had to raise money as a team. And we are happy that it's actually going to go and help the people who do not have. Because many of us have and take for granted that others do not have. So conservation was the first thing that drives us. The second thing was we wanted to be different. Women are the people who suffer most. In fact, effects of climate change have affected the woman and the girl child more than they have affected the other people. So for us, that was key and critical that we bring out the fact that women have been the people who have suffered and how else best to show it than for us to participate as an all-women team. It's an amazing achievement. We're covering 2,500 square kilometers of forest. I think it's one of the biggest private initiatives globally in this aspect of environmentalism. Um, it's the largest electric fence in the world. In the world. Um, I don't know, to be a part of something like that, isn't it special? Doesn't, I, I would imagine that everyone would want to be. So the charge is one thing, but for me personally, it's a fundraising that I actually quite enjoy and giving to. Okay. I, I'm finding ways around and innovative ways of raising them. Well, I think, the, um, I think the, everyone that does the Rhino Charge, uh, I, I don't know anyone that doesn't get the bug. Um, so even if you do break uh, within the first checkpoint, for some reason you still come back the next year. I would like to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to a whole range of individuals who are making all of this happening and starting with, uh, with a Rhino Charge organizing committee led by Don White. Those are volunteers who spent a huge amount of their time doing the year in organizing the event at no cost because they truly believe in what Rhino Work is doing. Also a big thank you to, to all the sponsors and the officials they're actually providing uh, uh, in-kind contributions towards the organization of a run of charge, reducing the cost of organizing the event by tenths of millions of shillings every year. So a big thank you to them. And of course, an amazing thank you to all the run of charger who are raising year in, year out, a huge amount of money towards the conservation work that we are doing. And it's amazing to think that over the past 35 years, they have raised uh, in excess of three of 2.1 billion shillings towards the conservation of Kenya mountain forests, also known as Kenya water towers. Zambarao, bring on the charge!